Good morning, friend. Oh, my dear, there's something wrong. Cause all my words are coming out in song. A rhythm stirs deep inside my soul. I'm saying things in ways I can't control. What's going on? Someone cast his fellow curse. All right, no, it's not good. In fact, I wouldn't even call it art. It's grotesque. Is there a rule against art being grotesque? I think there's something ag aggressive about it. And erotic. <laughs> to you, everything is erotic. Everything is erotic. Girls. <laughs> Aren't there standards? Of course there are. Otherwise, a tacky velvet painting could be equated to a Rembrandt. Hey, my Uncle Freddy has two tacky velvet paintings. He loves those clowns. Because <laughs> what I say is coming out in verse. My voice just soars. Dance with me. Tad Hamilton is Hollywood's biggest star. He's so fantastic. He's fantastic. Can I give you a kiss goodbye? Do you think that in real life he's the person he seems to be on the screen? I bet so. Yeah? Because he's not that good an actor. Congratulations. You're actually drinking, driving, smoking, leering, and groping at the same time. Oh. My. God. What is that? What a date with Tad Hamilton. What? Should I enter? Sure. Heaven is just a mouse click away. Who the heck are they? Wait a second. Tell me again why you're making me have dinner with an Okie. We just need to remind America that you are the boy next door. Ugh. Be careful, okay? Guard your carnal treasure! I heard you. Hi. <laughs> so, you ready? Wow. It's beautiful. I had one of those. A retainer? I had really bad teeth as a kid. Well, you came together nicely. Thank you. So did you. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Rosie, I kind of had something that I wanted to ask you. What would be the absolute worst thing that could happen to me right now? <laughs> I'm Tad. I can't believe you're here. I want some of that goodness to rub off on me. He wants your goodness to rub off on him? He wants your butt to rub off on him. Rosie, I love you. Tad Hamilton is an actor. How do you know that he's not acting with you? Hello? From DreamWorks Pictures. I love Rosie. You gotta win her back. I will tear you to pieces with my bare hands. Or vicious rhetoric. In every love story. Are you sure you know what you're doing? No. There's only room. Hell, I'd be happy to show you a couple of everyday farm chores. For one leading man. <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. Win a date with Tad Hamilton. Oh, and the luck continues. That's great. Had no idea it could. Now I'm singing out. And my do I sound good. I ain't much of a drummer, but I got me one. Uh, he's gonna be on the next show. <laughs> uh, it's fun. What could be the reason? I think I know my love. It's all because the wish I made upon the star above. Hey, Mom. Oh, I got good news. My doctor says I have liver disease. What? Someone will have to monitor her constantly. We don't have that kind of money. You should apply for work over at the prison. How would you like to be our new 
closer. Closer, closer. Is it true you're the new closer? Well, yes, I am. Why can't you be more like your brother? Bum chicks on death row for murder. It was good enough for your father. Bum says, hey. Only woman on death row. Make love to me. This is not such a good idea. I gotta kill you. If that don't get a girl hot, I don't know what will. Oh. It ain't over between me and you. I love both of you. This is between my brother and me. There's more to it, and you know it. This one is special. It's my big brother. When I kill people, I do it in the nicest way possible. I'm in love. But don't you gotta kill her? Not every relationship is perfect. <laughs> so this is where it all happens. Dead man. All right, man. You get the idea. That's my big scene. The last thing I want to see is my own mother perform fellatio. <laughs> Can I have his socks? With music in our hearts, we'll defeat the evil queen. How? Cause love expressed through song is a weapon like the queen has never seen. Says I got 30 days. I'm not much of a fighter. It's our turn, guys. You wanna go? The freedom. I don't know what to do next. Look, I'm like fat and skinny. Excuse me, and let me take you where you're going. Ah, uh, that's all right. I ain't gonna move till you get in the car. What if they don't like me? I bet the first ones to die are the ones that nobody likes. You'll be fine. Really? I have worked way too hard for what we have. And I will not let them take that away. Killing is wrong no matter who does it. You think fighting's wrong because you've never had to fight for anything in your life. We can't plan everything. Some things just happen. It's a powerful magic when two hearts are one. No, Mama. Okay, I know I shouldn't complain, but it just gets so lonely. I know I'm lucky. I know it could be worse. Okay, I think they're here. I have to go. I'll talk to you soon. Nikki, honey? This is Marjean. Hi. I'm so pleased to meet you. This must be Wayne and Raymond. Uh, Raymond and Wayne. Wayne's the bigger one. Oh. <laughs> Right, I knew that. Duh. <laughs> Your house is so nice. Thank you. I've made us some lunch. Nothing fancy. But sit down. Sit right over here. Bruschetta? You didn't have to go all out like this, huh? Oh, it's nothing. So, how long have you worked at Home Plus, Marjean? Just a few months. You already want to leave so soon? Retail's not for me. I'm a people person, but I don't respond well to an office or a store setting. I know that now. Uh, where were you born? Colorado. And are you dating anyone? Nikki. No. Bill's helped me recognize I could have a real direction in life. So, four days a week? To start, you'll be such a help. So, we have a new babysitter then. A powerful magic, bright as the sun. Goodness will triumph and evil's undone. Shot myself in the foot so many times that I can 
I had a chunk of photography. Hi there. Hey, Maury, what's up? Do you think it would be okay if we postponed your visit a bit? Why? Well, I just don't think this is the ideal time for you to come home. Sabotage my life. Every not saying anything. What's wrong? I just, I thought that you were one of two people who actually wanted me to come home. Of course, I always want you to come home. I know. Well, I'm glad you understand. Jay's going to be here for a while, at least a month. I would like to accommodate you, Maury. I really would. But there's just one problem. What's that? magic of all it's a powerful magic when two voices soar ever oh, you make me so hot i've never been so deeply penetrated at honey bunny honey bunny that's a new one isn't it oh are you fucking kidding me guys my best friend and girlfriend think i'm dead and how do they mourn you were gone for three days. I was worried sick. But a lady's got needs. So... You were dead. So you're technically broken up. Fair game, bro. Remember we made all those rules about when I can and cannot get blowjobs from your girlfriends? If you're dead or hurt, like in the hospital. <laughs> I'm ever more hopeful for what lies in store. Stop us, no, not anymore. Watch the wish you may come true. That is what love and its powerful magic can do. The beloved classic series by Beverly Cleary. Ramona. Ramona. Ramona? She keeps you on your toes. You are so welcome to borrow her for the next, like, ten years or so. Is coming to the big screen. <laughs> Enjoying third grade, I think you may be here a while. And if you think you know Ramona, get ready to see her in a whole new light. Ramona, you're your own person. You don't worry about coloring inside the lines. It really depends on the picture. <laughs> this summer, imagination runs wild. <laughs> Adventure runs free. And wonder runs in the family. Why don't we draw the longest picture in the world? Every princess needs a little sparkle. Joey King, Selena Gomez, John Corbett, Bridget Moynihan, Jennifer Goodwin, Josh Demel, Sandra O. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We saw your underpants. <laughs> Feel the song inside our hearts. That is where the magic starts. Oh, it grows with every note. Soaring sweetly from my throat. Every line ends with a rhyme. Don't know how, but it's sublime. With a melody so strong, how can we go wrong? Hi. What is it, honey? Hey, what's going on? I have to tell you something. I found my driver's license. You found it, that's great. It wasn't lost. I didn't want to give it to you because when we got married, I was really 16. What do you mean? I lied about my age. I wasn't 18 when we got married. I was 16. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. Um, oh, hold on. What is it? 
You were only 16? But your mother said you were 18. Because I told her to. But you signed on for medical at work. No one looked. I didn't think it was a big deal at the time, but then I realized it was a big deal, so I've been too afraid to tell. And I didn't want to hurt anybody because I love you all so much. Your dad will have to call you girls back. Okay. You are aware that the legal age of consent is 18. Try to steal these. What? Aunt Sheila tried to steal these, but I caught her. Your Aunt Sheila is a cow. Your father gave me these when you were born. Whatever happens. Sheila doesn't get these. Do yours, okay? Okay. Oh. Look at you. Perfect. I drew you a picture. Oh. Love my girl. Wanna come up here with mommy? It's nice that it's just you and me. Seems we found a lucky break. Now let us all show the powerful magic. We can make. Tomorrow is uncertain. Who knows what it will bring? But one thing is for sure, love. With you, I have everything. It's a special place to work on my gizmos. Right through here, Sophia. Just twist the top of the teapot, and it opens the door. Here we are. Well, these are my gizmos. Whoa. What does this one do? Oh, well, that's my built-in baker cupcake maker. Kind of a silly name, I know. I like it. How does it work? 
Well, I just put in some built-in Baker Cupcake Maker mix. And... Oh. I call this the teeter-totter rug swatter. Oh, ow. <coughs> Useful. Oh, sorry. Sometimes this one seems to have a mind of its own. What about this one? Oh, that one's my favorite. The bicycle built for tunes. Do you want to give it a try, Princess Sophia? Sure. <laughs> Gwen? You really think so? I mean, it's my dream to be a real inventor someday. And happily ever after is the way these stories go. Hey, big guy. Done for the day? Mm -hmm. Rest up, because first thing tomorrow, we're gonna find someplace great for you. Just until things settle down. Ruff, you see those stars over there? If you connect them, they make a monkey. See his tail? Ooh. But if you turn it upside down, it's a swan. See? <laughs> that one's a squirrel. Oh, and over there with the spikes, hedgehog. See it? Ooh. I knew you'd get it. You just have to know how to look. Imagine you a monster of all the ridiculous ideas. I know they're wrong about you. They don't see what I see. Used to think that's what I wanted, but now I finally know. Hey, carrots, you're gonna wake the baby. I gotta get to work. This is important, sir. I think your $10 worth of popsicles can wait. Ha! I make 200 bucks a day, Fluff. 365 days a year since I was 12. And time is money. Hop along. Please, just look at the picture. You sold Mr. Otterton that popsicle, right? Do you know him? I know everybody. And I also know that somewhere, there's a toy store missing a stuffed animal. So why don't you get back to your box? Fine. Then we'll have to do this the hard way. Did you just boot my stroller? Nicholas Wild, you are under arrest. Huh. For what? Hurting your free wings? Felony tax evasion. Yeah, $200 a day, 365 days a year, since you were 12, that's two decades of times 20, which is 1,460,000, I think. I mean, <laughs> I am just a dumb bunny, but we are good at multiplying. There's no storm we can't outrun. We will always find the sun. Leave the past. It's getting worse, isn't it? David, grab your pen. I was looking all over the castle. Arthur, it turns out he might have a way to help Emma. We can't. If we give him the dagger. David, listen to me. We can't trust Arthur. What are you talking about? Who told you that? Lancelot. Lancelot? Lancelot is dead. Hey, not in front of the patient. Given the seat that she's in, anything could set her off. She needs rest. Somewhere quiet and away from prying eyes. I know the perfect place. Perhaps me and the boy should take her there. Come on, love. Let's sail away. Whatever's happening to her, I think she was here for the dagger. So I should probably move it somewhere safer. Now, hold on a second. Arthur has a way to use that, to help Emma. What did I just tell you? We are not giving it to Arthur. Lancelot said he can't be trusted. And Cora said Lancelot was dead. You can't believe everything you hear. You really don't trust Lancelot, do you? He married us. He's our friend. That was a long time ago. And where's he been all these years? He didn't say. Well, where is he now? Hiding. It's not like he's welcome in Camelot. Because he went after Arthur's wife. And he's back. Why? Why is he back? I don't know, David. I don't have all the answers. Regina, would you mind please giving us a minute? 
Listen. Arthur. If we come clean now, he can still help us. So that's what this is about. You haven't met a king in a while and you're starstruck. That's not what this is about. Our daughter is sick. We have to help her. So why become a knight of the round table? How does that help her? Or is it that you need to feel like a hero again? Maybe the round table's exactly where I should be. We aren't telling Arthur anything until we know he can be trusted. And all his scars.